Hello, welcome back. Welcome to a pickup video, which I haven't done for a while, so I've got a fair bit to do. And also a little quick pickup of what's happening with the Amiibo tournament. Um, I've gone ahead and bought more, which I should stop. So because I've got so many cards and coins, I'm going to get rid of the free versus free because to add all the coins and the cards in it's going to take far too long and the two versus two. So I'm going to have cards versus cards and the coins versus coins. Um, I've just finished the free versus free. That will be on very soon. Uh, next one will be the monster amiibos. Right, that's that out of the way. So season three is going to be mental. A lot bigger. Uh, getting on with the pickups now. Start off with, I've bought in the charity shop the f Theory of Everything. It's Stephen Hawkins' life. Um, it won BAFTAs, I haven't seen it, but paid three quid for that in a charity shop. So, don't know. Like I say, the sun always comes in at the wrong angle for this. I may have to choose a different location or go back to the couch but yep got that on blu-ray right i also have bought aliens um, from hmv 24.99 it's the original 1986 version and the 1990 special edition with 17 minutes of extra footage so yeah, there's the front, and it's exactly the same on the back. Um, obviously, as you can see, I haven't opened it. Um, it's Ultra HD, which I can only play on the Xbox until I can afford a HD player. Blu-ray plus bonus, so I don't know what the bonus is until I open it up. But yeah, I mean, obviously, I got told the... DVD version is the best version which I actually have because Aliens is the, in my opinion, the best one. There's obviously Alien, Aliens, Alien Free, Alien, or is it Aliens Resurrection, and so forth. And there is a new one coming out. So if you're into the franchise like I am, you'll probably be going to cinema and watching that as well. Um... Jason's, uh, sorry, Jet Li and Jason Staten, War. I don't know what it's about. I saw this in the charity shop for two quid. Or was it three quid? And then I summoned an iron if I already had it on DVD, which I actually do. So DVD version will be going and I'll keep in the Blu-ray. It's only a pound, so it's not well, a lot of special features on the back i don't know again like say with the glare well as i'm seeing it there's a glare i don't know if there is as it's recording it but yeah another one to add to collection season one of halo which is on prime i do know is it prime or paramount i don't know ah oh, it shows here on the back paramount and showtime so it's on paramount I don't have Paramount, I chose to go for Disney. So, my bad. Over five hours of special features. So it's a lot of special features. And this is season one. It feels very heavy for what it is. It's five discs. So, got that. Five discs. Um, obviously, it's telling you there what's on each disc. And that's pretty much it. So season two is now showing on Paramount. Uh, hopefully they do that, put it onto disc and I'll buy it. Um, one I would like from Amazon, Om Omni Man, or whatever that program is actually called with him in, because what I've seen of the trailers, yeah, I wish I had that as well. Everything's on demand, which is annoying. Anyway, uh, The Last of Us, the first complete season, so I don't know, I've only played a little bit of the game and my controller, my red one that I bought when I'd done the pickup, yeah, I accidentally sat on that, forgot I put it on the chair, so it constantly goes to the left. That's why towards the end of it, 
Joel was just like constantly rotating. Anyway, sort that issue out by putting a different one in. This has over two hours of bo bonus content. If they do a season two, I'll probably get that. Again, I have to watch that in here because me Xbox is the only thing that can play Ultra HD. One that not many people go know of is Little Shop Horrors. It's a musical. I don't normally go for musicals, but watched this so much as a kid on BBC2, I actually got to like it. Um, it's about a big giant, well, it starts off as a small little plant. And as you can see, teenager plant, and it gets massive. Um, there is a little plot twist at the end, but warning you, if you don't like musicals, you probably won't like this. This and Tenacious D is probably the only musicals I like. Um, this is director's cut. It says six quid on the front. Uh, got to the counter, it got changed to ten quid. But there's a game that had a discount, which I'll show you soon, which balances it out. So that is the DVDs and films. Charity shop, I think it was $1.99 little Sun Goku. It is a, a money box. You can't put much it on there between that and where it comes out. But yeah, I mean scouters or s evil peoples I like to call them, resellers, would have probably bought that and charged people a fortune because now what's sadly happened in the Dragon Ball world. But yeah, I like it. Uh, that go along with me Hulk uh, money box and me Pac-Man money box, which I think I actually, yeah, actually got here. Um, does it make noise when you just turn it on and off? Let's have a... No, got to put money, it just goes wah, 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 wah. So not much to that. Um, right, got some uh, Disney Infinity characters. I've got Aladdin. Uh, Price was off. I think these were all two quid or no. I think that was 150. I think that was 50p, which is Jez and Yasmin. I think her name from Aladdin. I think she was two quid, but yeah, they're going very cheap now. If you want to get into things like that, uh, put that there. Um, sorry for this, it is very warm in here. Um, right, managed finally get Fox for Starlink. Um, I've had his ship for a while, but never actually had him. Apologise. <sighs> See, didn't do product placement. Sponsor? Anyway, it's not sponsor. Just trying to be a bit more lively. A um, lot of Starlink weapons this is ubisoft's downfall when they're selling the separate weapons on the ships um two quid each for them as you see um i managed to get a nice big bundle of all three sh or three of the ships the red with white the blue with white and the all white i need an all red one and there's a different all white one obviously this goes for PlayStation and Xbox and Switch. Switch is the only one where you can have the Star Wing because Fox is actually in that version. So yeah, you can buy it for all of them. The game's probably cheap because it flopped. So yeah, I managed to get all this bundle, I think for 12 quid. So yeah, they're getting rid of the stuff because people don't want it bunging up stuff in their house. I don't care. Um, managed to get, uh, let's see, where's all the other, uh, that's all the other Infinity characters, uh, that's the back of him, but yeah, like I say, these are going cheap, pound each, I've got some of the Starlink stuff there, well, you saw it in the C back, so it's just more guns, and that's it, um, also got a holder for the Switch version, which was good, so I can have a second ship on its holder. That's that stuff. Right, 
let's get into the games, which most people know. Still got stuff before I get to the game. Sorry, my bad. Not concentrating. Got all the Inklings season three and four, so they said on eBay. So I've got Mebo cards of that. Uh, got more of the Zelda ones. He's lucky enough, he's named them and trained a lot of them up. But this is Young MM Link. So I don't know what the MM stands for. But um, obviously, WW, Wind Waker, and that. Um, OOT, Ocarina of Time Link. So yeah, he's named them all up. But these don't have the pictures. They've got the swords of the stuff you get for Breath of the Wild. So that's why I've named them. So I know which ones are what. But they'll be added in to the their weapons there for that but on smash brothers it's more links so the links are going to be absolutely mental on season three um i'll train them up and they're um to a higher level than what they are because so i'll just put them in to see what they are so season three is going to be mental of links and a lot of characters um bought all these from one person on ebay i didn't know it was from one person because it was separate stuff but i got the bayonetta um amiibo figures um basically all they do for bayonetta 2 i think it's 2 is give you the costumes that's it um but of course you can use them in smash brothers so we have bayonetta and on the back that's all go for now i've interfered that's the back of it we have Princess Peach with like, I don't know if that's Earth or the moon behind them. More than likely the moon being Bayonetta. Link costume for her. I don't know. Yeah, getting it. It's trying to focus. It's an old camera. I've got to buy a new one eventually when I can afford it. Boo or King Boo. Um, Fox. Now I've mentioned the camera. It's a JVC. In case anyone's interested, I have got a Sony one, but that's elsewhere. Summers, and they forgot to fill in, as you can see, that bit there. So, if you're making more, there's your mistake. Daisy, and we know she's doing pretty well, or does pretty well in the tournament. And again. Back to Bayonetta. Now I've got three. So I've now got five Bayonettas. It's getting mental. Um, that's that. The other ones. I said I didn't know it was all from one person. I've got the Xenoblade three figures. I know Shork. I know that. And in case you're wondering in the back, it's all the swords with its own center blade. Some lab guy with guns by the looks of it. Please correct me in the comments if you've played it and know the names of these people. Unless it's like Final Fantasy 7, you can change the names, I don't know. Some Lloyd Grossman one. Uh, that It was just called Lloyd in... Was it fan? Not fancy. Um, Tales of. We just called him Lloyd Grossman because of the cook. Anyway, some guy in red. Some guy with a massive sword or gun behind him. Some dominatrix woman or a poison wannabe. What's that? Some woman with angel ears. And some woman with like cat ears and rings as a weapon. Which reminds me of that other RPG. I have to get around playing that. That was a Xbox game. Anyway, moving on. Right, that's that one. I could get them back in. I also managed to get from the same person, and I can get it open, a 
bunch of Mario Kart 8 figures, um, Amiibos. And all they do is give you Amiibos costumes. They've got Sierra Suit Samus, which we know isn't the costume. It should be um, her in a suit. So, a little mistake there. And the other one I noticed, it should be adult Rosalina. Baby Rosalina. So, got that. But this one here, obviously the arcade version of Maricart was done by Namco. That looks very much like the Pac-Man, the Nanko arcades use. So perhaps they got it from there. But very nice detailed on it. Um, on the back, it's the Marikar 8 main picture. But yeah, um, reason why I found out it's all from the same seller. They all came in a Xeno free zip bag. Um, not zip bag, just string bag. They all arrived in that. That's how I knew it's from the same seller, but didn't know that. But as you know, I've always said it, you know you've made it as a YouTuber when you're getting free gifts. Obviously, he didn't know, but yeah, it's free gift. I don't, I'm not complaining. I got this. Um, all it is, is hold your Amiibo cards. Like I say, got some there, I'm gonna put obviously Inkling ones there, you got all your fire emblem. There are some guts which I will fill in with. See, some guts I will fill them in with other amiibos. But that's that. Right, on to the games. So if you fast forward to this part and skipped all the others, here we go. Uh, let's start off from the back. We have Racing Championship. It's got, was it, 85% on play, which I will start putting them up after the PSM2s and the PSIs and the PSWs. Um, it mentions it was in P2, issue 19, and PlayStation, something else, issue 43. So you might actually see this on one of the videos, unless I've already done it, but... Yep, it looks all right. And that was two quid from MG Games. Normally it says MG Games on the label, not today. Right, this is another one from MG Games. Didn't print it out. Um, World Rally Championship 4. Two quid for this one. So, of course, you have all the names and places on the back and sponsorships and all that. Uh, I think the last rally game was on PlayStation 3. I paid, played for you lot. Um, I will get back to it. PlayStation 3, as you know, occasionally the picture cuts out, which is a bit annoying. Sorry, it is very warm. Virtual Fighter 4 Evolved. Um, I saw Ordinary Virtual Fighter 4. And I think it was only 50p cheaper. So this one has two extra characters, um, more stages and better sound and all that. I've never really played a virtual fighter. Um, so I am taking the risk seeing if I'm going to enjoy it or not. But yeah, I'll give it a go. I know it's a lot more um, thinking, unlike some fighters you could just go in mash buttons and win but apparently there is strategy and all that so if that's the case i'll probably just cheat and put in easy anyway i saw someone looking this up i reckon he must have been a reseller because he picked it up straight on the phone to look at it and then put it back mx rally or race um i like bike racing games i like racing games in general so at that price of 150 from cx yeah, I'll just go have it. I've got some other MX games, uh, Legends and all that. But yeah, got that. That's 150. Don't think it. Oh yeah, Instagram. It comes with a manual. Just it's so light compared to Virtual Fighter. And before EDF, there was Global Defense Force, which is the very first one. 
I don't know if the second one got called EDF or Global Defence Force 2 because EDF 2025 or 20, the one that came on the Xbox 360, that's actually the third EDF game. So there might be Global Defence Force, then there may have been an EDF, then EDF 2, but yeah, as you can see on the back, probably not very well, it's all EDF style, which we've got used to. Uh, 12 quid for that CX, no, um, that's how you receive, no obviously instructions unfortunately. Right, so that's the PlayStation 2. Xbox, here we go. Da Vinci, Invinci, it's a, it's a rhythm game. Um, this is the standard edition. If you see the DJ on the front, it's black and DJ's gold doing the standard scratch thing. You get 35 tracks with that. This one you've only got 25, so you get an extra 10 tracks with that one. Obviously, <coughs> <coughs> yes, I still got the cough. The guy has passed away, unfortunately, so we won't be getting any more songs from him. But you'll know him if they played if you listen to music and you'll be like, oh, he done that. So, yeah, quite a lot of good songs. If I can get away with showing it on YouTube because the copyrights with songs are, oh, I'll do that. Because a lot of videos that I do of um, the demos and that, a lot of videos I have to cut because of trademarks and that. I mean, some are over 20 years old, like the Final Fantasy Spirits Within video. That would be, I've time I've recorded this, would have been up. I'd cut a lot of that. It's over 20 years old. Come on, allow some of the stuff. Anyway, Star Trek. Been looking for this for a long time. Uh, got it for 20 quid, yep, uh, then eventually saw it in another shop right next to it for 1950. Uh, it's only 50p more, less, but let's say how long I've been looking for this, I grabbed it straight away, didn't let go. It plays a bit like Telltale games, so like the Borderlands that I put up, uh, which I'll eventually do like, um, what's that Storm one? Um, oh... There's Back to the Future and um, True Life. No, Life is Strange. That's it. I'll put all those up eventually when I get around to playing all these others. Right. Uh, also, I got Akuza Like a Dragon, the second one. Apparently, the guy said when I got this in game, uh, it's set in Hawaii. I didn't know that. It's the first one's to it. Oh, talking of game. Use your points up quick. They are doing something. They're getting rid of the loyalty card and save you losing out on all your points you built up. Can you do this? Hopefully, I can get this video on before that happens. But yeah, I didn't pay the 35, which is on the front. I used up my points. So I think I paid nine, uh, 25 or 26 quid. So yeah. That's the second one. I'm still playing the first one. It's big. In between all the stuff I'm doing for the Saturdays and the Sundays, which not everyone watches, but anyway, besides that, I'm still playing it, and it's massive, the first one. So if that's massive, sequel's bound to be big as well. Right. Didn't know anything about this until I got home and watched the videos, and it looks all right. Under the waves. Um... By the looks of it, of the videos and that, this guy's down in some base under the water, doing repairs and that, and I think he starts to go mad for being down there so long by self, and I think he starts seeing stuff. I don't, it's not a horror game or survival horror, I just think, you know, you've got to work out puzzles and weird stuff of what's happening to him. Paid 12 quid for that. Like I say, it was a complete blind buy, and then when I saw the trailers, I'm like, oh yeah, it looks all right. So, got that. Um, this one actually comes with some stuff, which doesn't happen nowadays. Stickers. So, the person who sold this actually left the stickers in there, which is nice. And, without opening it too much, so it's not folding and being ruined. An art book. 
So yes, two things I like, stuff in there and art books. Stickers I'm, I'll probably never use, someone probably would, but yeah, 12 quid for that. As God's, uh, as Guardians, Curse of the Star, Psst. Curse of the Stars. Uh, 28 for this, again, complete blind buy. Um, so it was Gearbox, and I thought, let's give it a go. I looked at the back, and I thought it was more like a an action style game. No, again, another Demon's Souls game. But this one I've already played. I'll put the video up soon. And yeah, it's not too bad. It's more forgiving than I thought. Um, unfortunately, the only drawback is one of the... Is it... It's one of the triggers at the top or um, bottom is the jump button. I can't stand that being the jump button, but I'll get used to it. As you, if you watch the video, I make a couple of mistakes where I press it, thinking it's the action button. But anyway, this is the deluxe edition. Um, it gives you another game with it, so it's not downloaded code that you can't use. It's built into the stuff. Um, yeah, a bit like Phoenix Rising as well, of that style, not with God, you know, gods and monsters. Obviously it's monsters, but I'd say it's not bad. It, I played a long video because I didn't know where I was going, what I was doing, learning it all. Plus, every time you reset, which gives you your health back, also resets all the enemies. So getting through the bits I've already done took longer because I had to kill them again. Because if you don't kill them, you don't level up as well as they get in your way so yeah page 28 for that and it's not too bad one game which uh isn't the price it says it says 18 on here it was reduced to 15 crime bosses so yeah you it's looks like payday that's what i got from the trailers um you got He's a very famous Mexican actor. I don't know his name, but there is someone out there. Some of the people, I mean, you've got Danny Glover from Lethal Weapon, who I would have thought be on the good side, not the bad side. Why the hell Vanilla Ice, it is Vanilla Ice, is in a gangster style thing. I don't know. I can't consider him gangster at all. Um... He looks like the guy, until I hear the voice, from um, The Walking Dead, Dale's brother, and Guardians of the Galaxy, the blue hair guy. I don't know his actual name, but I've seen him in multiple stuff. And this person who looks like Rick from The Walking Dead is actually Chuck Norris. He will come after you when you do too much or you're getting too famous. He will hunt you down. So it'd be interesting if he just does one roundhouse and kicks your entire team out. But yeah, Crime Bosses. Uh, it looks different. Like I say, like Payday, what I got gathered of the trailers. Um, uh, you download the free weapons. That's free if, even if you bought it pre-owned. It's on there. So that's that. Right, on to the Switch games. I'll save the worst to last. Uh, it's, it is bad. Right. I got Project Warlock, 45 quid. Now, obviously, it's from Limited Run or Super Limited Run games. So CEX obviously feel the need to charge you the high price as well. It's a pixel-style first-person shooter. Um, pretty much like one I've put up already. But, yeah, see how that goes. Let's move that Disney Infinity character. Good old PlayStation remakes, Tony Hawk's 1 and 2. So yeah, I did like this on the PlayStation. I can never beat me mate at um, the scores, the spray cans, but I enjoyed it. Um, I think it's on Tony Hawk's 2 when Worlds Collide song. I do like that the most. I used to listen to that quite a lot. But yeah, got that... Um, game so I don't know how much I paid for that without it being on the front uh, from GM Games in Western 
Turtles the Arcade, uh, I've, there's only five levels to this, so people have traded it in quite quick, so it's no longer 25, it's a lot cheaper. Because you and a mate, probably half an hour, uh, by yourself probably an hour, and then that's it, if, if you never go replay it again. But I probably will complete it, put them up, and I'll play it when i got spare time again and again. But yeah, grew up with Turtles, so I do like the arcade. The first Turtle Arcade is the best one, so there's that one. Uh, this started off really more as a dare for the original PlayStation, but I got ones for the PlayStation, PlayStation 2, Xbox, Wii U, I think for the Wii. Uh, don't think there was any on PlayStation 3 and 4, I'm not sure. But... Barbie's Dreamhouse Adventure. Uh, I've seen it online, going for way more than that. Some people think it's worth 50 to 70 quid, 90 in some places. No, no game's worth that. Um, yeah, um, if you don't mind Temple Run, I will give you some advice for that. On the first, on PlayStation 1, Barbie Explorer plays like Temple Run. So if you want an Indiana Jones dress up as Barbie and play Temple Run on PlayStation that's on there but yeah got this obviously in CX for 28 quid in Bath I probably won't put this up unless someone really wants me to but I got no shame in playing any game so there's that finally got it it's been out ever since the switch was out Ultimate Street Fighter now you have Evil Ryu, I played him in the, I think it was Street Fight EX, or one, Street Fight Alpha 3 as well, I think. And Violent Ken, now I know they're not going to make Violent Ken any different, because it's your standard um, Street Fighter. But I wish they'd done like a, a Capcom versus or Marvel versus Capcom Start a fighting game without all the Marvels that just the Street Fighter characters. Every Street Fighter character they've had, or have loads of Street Fighter characters versus Dark Stalkers. Same company, but have them first in and have that over the top Ryu long fireball, um, Akuma jumping up and shooting down multiple fireballs, Sagat Super Tiger Knee, and all that. Just have it a mental version with their own franchises so Red Earth and all that I know they've done that in Street Fighter Jam shoved all them but it wasn't over the top bring back the over top and make it with all those characters because you've got enough Capcom you got enough Endless Ocean uh, yeah I got this also not this version but I've got an Endless Ocean for the Wii, I think there's two versions, Endless Ocean and something else, so you obviously all have surnames. But yeah, this is a stress-free game, there's no rush, it's just exploring, looking at different fishes, coral and all that. And it's, well, on the front, you've got dolphin, looks, can't tell what type of whale that is, and a turtle. And fishes, you won't ever find them around. Dolphins would be eating the fishes. Anyway, yeah, you just explore and enjoy your time at the bottom of the ocean. So it's very peaceful. Obviously still sealed. I got that from game. I can't remember how much that was without the price on it. Right, I've also bought at, for the Switch Burnout Paradise. 15 quid now. It's finally come down. I mean, this has been 30 quid for a while and 30 quid's a bit much considering sometimes the digital's very cheap but I've got physical so when all that digital stuff go away I still can play that this has the island which when Burnout Paradise first come out you could see it slowly being built I never did buy the add-ons but now you've got the remaster with all the DLC in so that's nice the ninjas of ninja saviors the Return of the Warrior. It's an old arcade game. I also have it, I think, 
did you know I have a physical version for the PlayStation 4. I can't remember if I played it for this one or the old channel. But yeah, it's a nice remake of the original arcade. It'd be nice if you can unlock the original one to see how bad it is. The original one's really quite bad. It's either that or it's the Super Nintendo version I played, which is really bad. But yeah, 12 quid for that one. Uh, this is the bad one. Yep, I've bought Contra, the really bad one. Obviously, I know you can pick it up for three quid from the store and that. But again, once they shut the store down, someone will go, oh, that game's worth 150 quid. I've so I got it. Yeah, it, it's never going to be worth 150 quid. But I mean, that Godzilla one for the PlayStation 4. Someone thinks that's worth over 100 quid. So everyone charges over 100 quid for it now. I got the PlayStation 3 version, but this is obviously PlayStation 4 version of Godzilla. But Contra. Oh, I'm getting podgies. That's alternative cover. Um, you get a little manual, which is, there's your English, and there's the buttons to press, and the rest is in German and French, I think that's French flag, Romanian, you get all the other languages, and then obviously that's it, that's the, that was the original front cover for it, but if I'm going to have a bad game, might as well have bad art for the front as well. But as sad as it is, the demo I played, I didn't mind it. It reminded me of a bit of Smash TV, a little bit. So there's that. Sorry if I've upset anyone saying it reminded me of Smash TV. Right, moving on to the stuff behind me. Oh. Uh... I probably won't be able to put much of this online, even though people may not want to. Robbie Williams, exclusive to Xbox DVD. Yeah, I don't know many people who's going to have this and how many people want to. But you have five audio tracks, audio and visual tracks, two of them, and then extra stuff. I mean... What was Microsoft thinking when they asked Robbie Williams? I mean, just do one on Dwayne Johnson. You had him sponsoring it. So, yeah, I got that cheap. Um, so, yeah, see more, hear more, feel more, play more. Uh, play more of decent stuff. Anyway, eventually found this in a bundle. Uh, it was cheaper in the bundle and buying it individually. Uh, PS2, the, I assume, uh, 24th, don't know, of the 7th, 3DO games, back when Electronic Boutiques was around before they turned into game. All it is, is nine games and videos of them. I've seen this for 12 quid um, by itself, sometimes a little more. But managed to get it for a pound with a bunch of other stuff. All the other stuff I had. So I'm glad I won it for a pound because this is the only thing I wanted from it. Uh, managed to get hold of Welcome to PlayStation 3 and the PlayStation Network. There are two more I want to get. A red cover and a white cover. Um, obviously not English ratings. I've seen another one, exactly the same, with the PlayStation, but a blue background. So I don't know if that's any different, but yeah. It's got a couple of videos, trailers, so I'll put that up. And when I can afford the others, because they're quite expensive, I will buy them. So that's eventually down the line. Finally won a copy of it, because the other one, um, I wasn't... Well, I won it, but the guy refunded the money and didn't set. Uh, Brothers in Arms, the tinned, as I was on about. It's not, don't have the game. That's the, but it's literally limited editions, as a, but I got it for the DVD. So you get your little booklets and cards. 
and Gearbox again with Ubisoft, the DVD. Uh, I do believe it's the making of. And on the back here, they got you know PC, Xbox, and PlayStation 2. So, yeah, got that. Eventually, we'll put that up for you. You know, all this stuff is eventually going to come, but when I don't know. Right, so that's that. Uh, Super Battle DVD Volume 7. The rest I can't read. It's in Japanese. Third Strike Street Fighter 3. So yeah, people playing the tournament. Uh, so it's got on the back here on the sticker. 08 Super Battle Volume 7. So I assume that's the year. Used very good. Because I got it from eBay. So obviously Wales or something. But yeah, uh, I... I do believe it's probably all going to be in Japanese, but fighting's fighting. I don't know how long it's region 2, so most Japanese are the same region as us. 3x4, I don't know what the running time is, and it's in colour. But yeah, so that's that. I did see another one with different cover, but it was exactly the same volume 7. So there are some others I've seen, like training videos. Um, when I get paid, I'll order that. I'll order that on payday. So that will probably be months away. Uh, another one of all the Xbox 360, even though it didn't do well in Japan. PlayStation 3, I do believe. E3. E3 English version of trailers all from Square Enix so it's in a two-part cover so they got um, Japanese they've got some stuff written Europe Japanese North America so they have got some stuff written in English there but yeah not a lot of it obviously we'll be able to understand the E3 English version hopefully but yeah, uh, there are characters in that writing. I don't know if you can see them very well. I may have to pause it. But yeah, I get no understanding of what some of it says. I know English version, Japanese version. Uh, but again, I don't know how long it runs for. But oh, bunch of stuff I didn't know was in there. Oh, that's just paper and that's a Chinese receipt I some of it's in English DVDs in English um, yeah I I don't understand it. it's not my receipt as you can see so they paid what so many thousands of yen which I don't know what that is in our currency or in US currency I'll keep that with it there's a code in here it probably won't work on anything it's probably been used but I'll let you lot have that code it's probably Japanese only code or something I have no idea where you would use that if anyone uses it and you get something out of it let me know I'll show you it again so if you're the first to watch this video and you get that code Please let me know if it's used or um, what it done or does. Be interesting to find that out. I promise I ain't going to use it because I, I don't know where to start. A um, couple things left. Oh, just get these up. Right. I've got 2000 Pro Evolution, even though. It used to be International Superstar Soccer. 08. And the reason why I showed you that. Uh, it's a disc. A uh, DVD. It's got training on one video. And I think tactics. And now to be good at it on another one. So I'm not a football person. But a free. Well it's not free. But free video for you lot on it. I mean most people are good at football games. That's. 08 I then bought 09 obviously got these quite cheap 
Um, I've got in there, oh, I've got 16 and I think 09 or no, oh, 06 I think. And I saw on eBay, I'm bidding for it, oh, uh, 15. So again, I'll show you that lot. Right. Also, I bought a Final Fantasy disc. Uh, again, I think it's got all trailers. It may have a little bit of the game because it shows that. So, if it's a game with trailers, I you know PlayStation 3 is region free, so I'll be able to play that and show you it. If it was PlayStation 2, then I couldn't. It says region 2, so it might be a different part, like the Tekken Tag remake. So there's that. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to get away with this, but there are trailers for Dirt. It's the Colin McRae legend right here. It's basically, he's um, before the unfortunate happened. I think it was plane crash or something. And yeah, basically the best rally driver we ever had. And it's all the I do believe how he becomes what he is. And then in the bonus features, there are dirt trailer so it was around about 2007 i think or 97 something like that, whenever dirt came out but yeah got trailers on that um gamecube welcome oh it's got nintendo gamecube preview dvd so nothing on the back apart from it looks like the bottom of a gamecube in the disc does it say yeah, it's just got features and all that. So, yeah, that would go up. Uh, probably when I start... Before I go on to the... Because I've got GameCube to show you. And then I've got Wii. Or is it... I think it's... It's either the Wii or it's the Wii U videos up there. You'll get around to watch... I'll put them up eventually and you can watch them. Right, I got this one this is in French of um, trailers and obviously their region 2 as well um, something something 120 so I assume that's the running time uh, 2002 is the other word I can make out uh, 2003 so it might be towards the end Sorry, I can't read French. I have said it before, but you'll get Eternal Darkness, Wind Waker, Mario Sunshine. Seen a good picture with Mario Sunshine cleaning it up and the inklings actually making the mess. Um, but that's just me. Uh, Star Fox Adventure. It's not me. I like the picture. Clear up. Uh, Metroid Prime, Resident Evil Zero. Yeah, Zero. Resident Evil Zero. Um, Sega, Super Soccer, FIFA, I assume that would be 2003, Medal of Honor, and Racing Games. So, yeah, that's the front, and that's the back. For those who can read it, good on ya. And it probably all be in French with the language as well, so I apologise if you don't like it, but I've got another stuff and different languages. It's all game footage. Uh, Edge magazine uh, down at E3 and this covers Halo 2, Half-Life 2, Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater and Gran Turismo 4. On the back you have Mario Kart Double Dash grabbed by the Ghoulies. I can't see what that that might be a time splitters. That's a Prince of Persia I toy. I think that's Zelda. Soul Reaver 2 by the looks of it. So I don't know what that one would be. So yeah, those are the ones on the back. Not much information on the back. Oh, was your information there? So yeah more e3 stuff it doesn't say what e3 or does it on the disc where's the disc right uh 
free with issue 125 edge e3 experience no so i don't know what year that is but it had the gamecube playstation 2 and xbox and obviously pc coverage so anywhere between now and later xbox magazine volume 7 so i have got others i'm finally glad i got seven i think i have shown others on the channel I'm pr yeah pretty sure i have uh xbox vision for you uh, or issue 41 so these are the ones where they start getting to the 360 so this ain't until march later i'll be showing these and this is obviously 2008 best games that they had for that time fear paid a bit more than i actually wanted to for this but i love the fear franchise fear and fear files were the best two was okay three just lost the plot and wasn't what it should have been i wish they could do a hd remake of fear fear files which was extraction point and perseus mandate which you can get on pc but on xbox they're two separate on pc perseus mandate and extraction point but they bunged them as fear files for the xbox 360 and PlayStation 3 didn't get it. It was only an Xbox. But it doesn't say Xbox exclusive on it. It was only out on the Xbox. Anyway, got that. Halo Wars. I did put up or started playing Halo Wars 2. I'll carry that on. But yeah, Halo Wars was good for its time. Oh, exclusive audio review. There you go. Uh, Riddick. It's not a bad film as well as a, not a bad game. I've watched my friend play it and he knew what to do so he got through it very quickly. And yeah, it's not a bad game. But I haven't seen Dark Athena which they bunged on when they done it again. So yeah. At least it's not Fast and Furious. Terminator Survivor. So this issue, I didn't say the issues of the others. My bad, so... Let's recap. We had 41, 42, 43, 45. So it's jumped. And then this one is issue 46. I think I do have 43 to go in between. I bought these as a bundle. Yeah, a bit disappointing in this one. This is 53. No, nothing in it. No DVD. It's a shame. Hitman Absolution. So this one, I do believe these are still Xbox ones. Issue. I have to look on the disc. 92 for that one. Uh, Dead Space 3. Issue. 95 uh, it's got Tomb Raider so that must be in the reboot of it and remember me remember me weren't too bad I gotta try and probably finish that I don't know again there's a lot I played on the old channel which I don't know if I played on the new one all learning two hours of DVD of Xbox One so it shows how old these are but there'd be even older time I get around to doing it so you've got Call of Duty, Forza 5, and all the others. Um, FIFA 14. So you've got that. Uh, demo for PlayStation 3, 72. Uh, so it's got SSX and some others on there. Again, that go. I have to check all the others to see if I got that one. Making of Fallout 3. Uh, probably people will like that one. I couldn't really get into Fallout. I mean, I'm a collectorholic, so I was picking up everything and didn't realise that slowed you down. So, unfortunately, I couldn't get on with it. Now I know that, I might play it again. 
uh, music from Fallout 4. So you've got main theme and all the others. And when I saw this in the bundle, I didn't know it was music from it. I thought it was the making of, but... So, that that's not worth putting up unless I can get away with it. I'll, I'll give it a try. Uh, Xbox Vision Volume 21. So yes, I have got other versions of Xbox stuff. I've got some others on the way and I might hopefully be winning some older Xbox videos. This is 22 of Xbox Vision. Uh, in case you couldn't really see, it's Devil May Cry and some car. I don't know what type of car. Uh, this one's in a plain case. Uh, number 60 for Xbox Vision. And it tells you there the game's on there. Uh, 71 with Skyrim. And LA Noir, I think, on the front. Yeah. And then there's your back. So when these all go up, you're like, oh yeah, I remember that front cover. Rage. And this is issue, sorry, 70, 73. Very small writing for my old age. And I've got Resident Evil on there. Doesn't say what, oh, Raccoon City. Oh yeah, that was the bad one, apparently. 74 with Halo 4. Two hours of great trailers so they all go be in the two hour marks when they got to this stage and that's the back because i know they're slowly creeping up some are only an hour some are an hour and a half now they're getting up to the two hours which is a bit better for people who like watching stuff like this because we don't have games master anymore bad influence or bits bits was good um, 75 and that's got what Assassin's, Assassin's Creed Oluzo yeah got Gears of War 3 on the back 26 trailers and it's those I f don't know if, I think this was the ones where the two blokes sit down and talk about the games that they played as well FIFA 12 Bioshock and then finally out of all of it Forza 4 issue 76. That's all of it. So, unfortunately, I've been talking for almost an hour. I am very parched, so apologise for this. Another drink. So, yeah, when I get round to putting them up, obviously, you'll know. But, yeah, until next time, I'll try not to leave it so long. So I don't have a bigger lot to show you. Alright, thank you for watching and have a nice day. All in one take. That's pretty good. Bye.